Good evening. Three crashes, all involving horses and buggies, killed two people over the weekend. Police say the crashes are not related, but they are looking for a driver who left the scene of the fatal crash. The most serious one happened on State Road 37 and Notestein Road. 18-year-old Rebecca Graber and 16-year-old Michelle Graber were killed, and one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition. A pickup truck was involved in that crash, but the person driving it left the truck behind and took off. A few minutes later, about a mile east on notes time, there was another crash involving a horse and buggy. This time, the people on the buggy only had minor injuries. And then two hours later, a crash on Doty Road involving a horse and buggy left a person in serious condition. Lawmakers and Amish advocates are expressing concern over the crashes. And News Channel 15's Kaitor Passo went to the scene of the first crash to meet a man who drives the Amish around for a living. He's in our newsroom right now with what that man's reaction was to the accident. Kaitor. Clifton Parton has been an Amish driver for two years now. He takes them all over Allen County wherever they need to go. He's stressing now more than ever that people need to pay attention on the roads. Clifton Parton knew it was a matter of time before something tragic happened to a horse and buggy at the corner of State Road 37 and Notstein Road. This stop sign behind me. They don't pay attention to speed limits. He's heartbroken by the news of the two girls killed in a crash Sunday night. Sad. Because there's not just a lot of there's a lot of mistakes out here with the drivers and the buggies. And it's it's a tragedy. He doesn't understand why drivers aren't more cautious. People don't pay the uh, people don't pay the, the attention to their surroundings. And the drivers don't pay attention of what's going on in front of them or whatever. While Parton isn't sure how to solve the problem, State Representative Bob Morris says he's focused on making sure buggies are properly lit. You know, legislatively what we're looking at is, is you know, these, these horse and buggies need to have lights on the front and lights on the back, and they need to be properly lit. Just the same as an as automobile, a vehicle that we know it today. Morris says this can't happen again. And looking at... Uh, what we need to do to save future lives because there's been a number of accidents within uh, uh, a few miles and, and it just it, it's really a tragedy to lose uh, both of these uh, young girls. He and Parton have the same message for the community. So everybody just please pay attention even in horse and buggy drivers pay attention to your surroundings. Morris says state lawmakers are also looking to put lights and a stoplight at the intersection of State Road 37 and Notestein Road. In the newsroom, Kaitor Pessoa, News Channel 15.